Raiders and Broncos renew their rivalry this Sunday at Elysian Stadium. And as Fox Sports Director Kevin Bollinger tells us, this game has even more on the line. The Raiders and Broncos are essentially playing in a playoff game this Sunday. The winner keeps their postseason hopes alive while the loser is all but eliminated. It adds a little more juice to a rivalry that usually doesn't need it. It's always great to beat a rival, but to essentially knock them out of playoff contention is even sweeter. That's the scenario facing the Raiders this Sunday as the Broncos roll into town, and they're definitely aware of the stakes. Very hungry, um, very concentrated and focused. Uh, you know, we have a chance to uh, make the playoffs, and we know, you know we're in the hunt, and so we want to make it. You know, that's why we're here. Uh, you want a shot in the tournament. You want a shot to go win the big thing. So uh, that's all of our goals, and, the, and collectively uh, we're all trying to work as hard as we can to get there and make that happen. The Broncos will be without starting quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, who has a concussion. Drew Locke will take his spot. But the Raiders will be without a couple of key players as well. Safety Jonathan Abram is out for the season with a shoulder injury suffered against Cleveland. And corner Brandon Faison is on the COVID list and may not be able to test his way back to eligibility in time for the game. It's another situation for the Raiders where it's next man up. We just got to adjust the best that we can, get guys. Fortunately, it's uh, you know the coaches have done a good job all during the season. We try to split up our reps where the twos get reps, you know, in a in a group of plays. So we're going to have to rely on that part of it, our preparation. A couple of other injury notes: tied in Darren Waller once again did not practice on Thursday, but linebacker Denzel Perryman did in a limited capacity. But he could be working himself back into position to possibly play on Sunday. Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas. If you do plan to head to the game, remember that you do need to be at least partially vaccinated. The Raiders have a number of alternate screening and vaccination locations if you are unable to upload your information through the Clear Health Pass app. There will be alternate screening locations in Lot B and another in Lot J. There will also be a vaccination location in Lot B. All these locations are open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on game day.